Hey, welcome back to the channel. We do a little series called Twitch Gets Painted, where I roast your favorite streamers for seven minutes straight and then paint them for the last two. We've painted Nimmin, Poke, Soil, Daff, Nick and Milena, Seer, Elrob, Hutchubby, and Frozen. And the love that you guys have shown the series has been crazy, dude. So thank you. On today's episode, we are going to be painting one of the biggest streamers on Twitch who goes by the name XQC Ow. QVC was born in Quebec, Canada on November 12th of 1995. Happy belated, by the way. But his hairline is still living in the 1920s and is waiting for the next system update. XQ Cow has streamed on Twitch since 2015 and used to compete at the top levels of Overwatch, a dead first person shooter game. He played for various teams both in the Overwatch League and in the World Cup of 2017 where he represented his home country, Canada. He streamed while competing and his stream has grown exponentially ever since. ABC is the second most paid streamer on the entire platform and he's famous for his incredible way with words. So basically what, what has that had happened? So what has that had happened? He's also known for his gaming warlord gameplay. No, he's he's cool. He's a he's a good kid. He's a nice kid. Yeah, uh Gummy, you sound evil. Um <laughs> no one's coming, no one's coming. He's also very intellectual. Do you guys like get cold when, uh, when it's freezing? And lastly, he possesses incredible video reacting watching skills. <laughs> Honestly, this guy seems great, okay? He's the living, breathing embodiment of what it means to be a grown man. He always keeps his space super clean. And when he had Steve Aoki, a professional barber, come to his place to cut his hair, they cut it on his carpet, and this DVD guy just let it sit there for multiple days. Being a man also means that you need to get proper food to fuel that machine of a body. And so to catch up on any missed nutrients, he also likes to snack on his controllers. Lastly, I've got to say that this USB guy has one of the most manly voices you will ever hear on the entire platform. Oh my. XYZ also plays a big variety of different types of games such as GTA, Minecraft, driving simulators, and even Among Us, an esports game. One of his most played games aside from Overwatch is GTA Roleplay. When he plays GTA RP, he has a tendency to break the law, end up dead, go to the hospital, and finally go to jail. Again and again and again. He ends up in jail so often that even in this photo, he looks like he's behind bars. So now that we know a little bit about this soy voice, controller chomping, stick figure looking ass streamer, Let's get into painting. I start off all my paintings by thinking about color. And when I think about NPC, there's a lot of colors that come to mind. Red could work because he's from Canada. Blue could work from when he was in the Dallas Fuel. But the color that I decided to go for was green green. I chose this color because his stream is known as the jungle. And because he has a stomach diarrhea problem where he can't stop shitting on stream. I, I gotta go, it's actually really bad. It, it's Dude, 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 I just, I would do, okay, I gotta go. What the f- Oh, oh, dude, that is actually fucking nasty, man. That is foul, dude, what the fuck, man? 
After choosing a color, I went ahead and did some color palette studies from different paintings I found online. The color palette I liked the most was this one right over here, which was based off of this painting right over here. Afterwards, I went online to his Instagram to find a good reference photo. There were some interesting ones like the one where he looks down at the camera while eating something, but the one that I actually ended up going for was this one right over here. I went ahead and put down the color palette study from earlier, which will act as the base for my painting, and then I went ahead and sketched in his basic proportions using lines. Afterwards, I picked colors from the background to put on his face, and then I put down his basic light and shadows. After rendering the piece for a while, I decided to think about fun references from the stream which I could include in the painting. Back in the Overwatch days, KFC used to play Winston, a gorilla who can get the fuck out of trouble with a single click of a button and requires literally zero aim to play. I know, it seems like a very difficult character. And so to reference this, I went ahead and added a pop vinyl of Winston on his shoulder. RGB also has one of the most popular emotes on the entire platform, known as XQCL, which is a love emote. And so, I thought about adding that emote to his shirt. For the background, I went ahead and softened everything and then added a bunch of circles to show that this artist knows how to draw perfect circles. The last part of the painting is just softening up everything and... Sheesh! What the fuck? I had a lot of fun painting this goblin looking dude, and he looks so handsome. This painting comes in four formats, 1x1, one 16x9, one, schnauzer edition, and finally it also comes in the form of an animation which you can use as backgrounds. Links to all of these are in the Google Drive link in the description below. So have fun! That's gonna wrap up season 1 of Twitch Gets Painted. But don't worry, I'm going to be making more paintings and more videos on streamers in the beginning of 2022. I also hang out on Twitch if anybody wants to have a chat about their favorite streamers. I'm working on something big, which I'll be dropping very soon. So if that's something that interests you, make sure to subscribe. And for those of you who are saying no while smiling, just know that I see you. And I'll be sending a goblin to your house personally if you don't. Leave a like if you hated the video, leave a dislike if you love the video, comment who I should paint next. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I love you guys and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace.